Good day, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land. It's your hashtag Couch Goalie Rocknot back again with another video. Uh, this video today, I received this package in the mail from Richmond, BC. Now, I've been expecting this package for a while now. Well, not really that long. I ordered it last Tuesday. And the guy who did the website, he was on he was on vacation until Thursday, and I got the package uh, today, June the third. So we're gonna go ahead and open this right now. I'll get into where I got it from once I get the package open. All right. So we got this little package right here. Says instructions, do not rush this. Patience is key when applying your custom cage kit. As you can see, I have some nice little designs here. So we're going to open this up. I ordered this from customcages.com. It's a company out of, as I said before, Richmond, B.C., and what they do is they create custom decals, custom vinyl decals for goalie masks. So rather than me going out and getting airbrushed, I went and ordered this. This is stock that they already have off their shelf, basically off their shelf, for my plain white uh, Bauer Enemy 4 mask. Which I've already taken the cage and everything off of, as you can see. So, what I ordered was, in blue, their cat theme. So, as you can see, these are the eyes. And that goes along, like, the jaw sides of the mask. As does this one. Those two pages are kind of stuck together. And I'm not exactly sure where those go. <laughs> maybe on the maybe on the top or the back. I'll have to look at the design again. But they give you a couple pieces for the eyes here, so that's kind of cool. And another piece here. So there's the instructions. Do not clean with alcohol. Okay, they do not want you cleaning the mask with alcohol. And they want they don't want you to rush this. Prepare your goalie mask for application. You will need one sharp utility knife, blow dryer, screwdriver, and a terry cloth. Using the terry cloth, remove any dust or debris from your mask. Oh, you guys really can't see that because it's upside down. Uh, your mask should be dry and clean before applying any of the graphic. Start by peeling up your first decal. Try peeling as slowly as you can and lightly place it on your helmet. You might need to apply it a few times to get the right placement. So yeah, I'll have to look at the design again to see where these go. Or de decide where I want those to go. And yeah, so this is what I've got here. I'll outline, outline it here for you all to see. So basically these will go on the top. These will come along the sides. I don't know where these will go. All right, so when I get back, we will start the process of putting this decal on oh yeah ladies and gentlemen we're gonna do that on on camera for you all right stay tuned all right so we're gonna start on the left side of the mask i've got the mask all cleaned and ready to go so i just peeled off the left side sticker and they say to go very slowly while doing this.
this is harder than I thought it was going to be. As some of you guys are watching me do this, I'll let you know I got this from uh, custom cages, custom dash cages.com. They have a shop there where you can order uh, their pre made decals. They also have an option where you can order customs. This is one of their pre made ones. It, as I said before, it's called The Cat Goalie Mask Deckle. Obviously, it is, it is made uh, kind of in tribute to the great Felix Potvin, who was known as The Cat. To those of you that don't know Felix Potvin, or know of... All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've got the first half on, well, first part on. So there's a little bit of overhang here, a couple small bubbles, but you know what? Overall, the instructions are correct. You want to take your time with this. It is a long process. I had to basically stick and, un and peel off and stick and peel peel off multiple times in order to uh, get this uh, to exactly where I wanted it. Now my trick is, is remembering where all the damn holes are so I put the screws back in the right place. So I'm going to now work on, um, I'm going to continue to work on the left side of the mask and then I will move around to the right side. Um, I'll show a little bit of of doing that just give me one second here so I've got this one here so we've got the left cat eyeball here and we're gonna stick it yeah I think that'll look good right there on that ridge and we're just gonna this part this should be a little bit easier as it's a much smaller part of the decal that being said I will probably screw it up yeah I've already got to see I've already got some bubbles in there already so again you just want to peel it up work it slowly this is like you know trying trying to get that girl you always wanted you gotta go slow and just work it slowly you don't want to rush it or then you scare her off right go slow I'll continue to do this off camera here. All right. So, as you can see, I've got the side on and I've got the top eye on. I'm now working on the middle portion of like, the back of the mask here. Uh, it looked like it should have been straightforward too, but. <laughs> Uh, these damn things. I guess if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right, right? So I'm just... Trying to work. 
her get through here. I think my next mask, I may just splurge and do an airbrush job. <laughs> these decals although it was like 30 bucks so not a bad deal right for a custom job i might just do something more simple next time do like um because i honestly i'm not patient enough for this i wanted this done like forever ago all right well i'll continue to to work on this and I'll probably come back with the finished product stay tuned because you're not really seeing anything my hands are in the way and there you go ladies and gentlemen there's the mask all finished up not the most perfect job I've ever done but it's done. Pretty happy with how it came out. You know, for 30 bucks. Sure beats paying like 400 for uh for a custom paint job. Uh we'll be interested to see how it's received on the court this Thursday. And if you want to get yourself one of these custom decals, you can go ahead and go to custom-cages.com. And check out what they have for sale or even order a custom vinyl. Again, these are vinyl decals. You can stretch them and shrink them at, as much as you need to fit, to fit your mask. And they do have some uh, customi customization options. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for coming out and watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so if you enjoy the content and if you want to and if you want to get uh, notifications every time a new video comes out. Make sure you go ahead and hit that goal buzzer so you get notified when a new video comes out. Now you guys have a have a great night. Keep your stick on the ice. Have a good one.